Hey, Emma Kate. Hi, Emma. It's Miss Pam. I hope you girls are doing well today. We're going to actually do a little lesson on time and do a little bit of reading with it. So, in your packet, Miss Hannah gave you a worksheet that looks like the one that you see on your screen. I'm going to pull it down a little bit. It's got a bed and a little story and a few questions at the bottom. So I need you girls to get out that paper, a pencil, and one highlighter. So while you're getting your supplies ready, I'm going to actually zoom in so that we can do some reading together. All right, so, Girls, what I'd like for you to do first is put your name nice and neatly at the top of your paper. And you don't have to worry about the date because I'm not really sure when Miss Hannah um, has you doing this assignment. So your name will be fine. All right, so here's what I want us to do. We are going to read the story below. And we're probably going to read through it about two or three times. I'm going to read it to you first. So if you'd like to follow along and just look at the screen, that is completely fine with Miss Pam. Actually, that's what I want you to do. Don't worry about following along on the paper. Just put your eyes on the screen and listen to the story. All right, here we go. Scott got ready for bed. He took a bath, brushed his teeth, and combed his hair. Scott was ready for a good night's sleep. Scott set his alarm clock to wake him up at seven o'clock. Scott put his head on the pillow and fell asleep quickly. When Scott's clock rang, he turned it off, oops, and went back to sleep. Scott finally woke up at nine o'clock. Scott jumped out of his bed and ran to get dressed. When Scott got to school, his teacher told him he was late. Oh my goodness, so we have a story about a little boy named Scott that was sleeping very, very soundly. And we know that he set his alarm clock to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. But how many times have we hit our snooze button or we wanted to go back to sleep for just a little bit. Miss Pam said that several times. But Scott did not wake back up in time for school, did he? No, he went back to sleep for a while and he was late when he got to school. So first what I want us to do is I'd like for you girls to read with Miss Pam this time. So I'd like for you to get out your paper and I want you to make sure that you're sitting nice and tall and in your reading position and we're going to use our reading finger to track, okay? Because there might be some words in here that we need to go over together. So the first thing we're going to do is read together. Here we go. Scott got ready for bed. He took a bath, brushed his teeth, and combed his hair. Scott was ready for a good night's sleep. Scott set his alarm clock to wake him up at seven o'clock. Scott 
put his head on the pillow and fell asleep quickly. When Scott's clock rang, he turned it off and went back to sleep. Scott finally woke up at nine o'clock. Scott jumped out of his out of bed and ran to get dressed. When Scott got to school, his teacher told him he was late. Oh, I wish I could hear your all's beautiful reading voices, but um, I can't. So, but I know you're doing a great job. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do first. We're gonna kind of do a couple of different things. The first thing I want you to do is get your highlighter because we're going to be highlighting some very important information that's gonna help us answer our questions down here. But don't highlight until Miss Pam tells you what to highlight. All right, so we're gonna read again and follow along. And if I pause to highlight something, that's when you'll need to get your highlighter as well. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's read it together and let's read it at the same time. We don't want to rush ahead. Whoops, here we go. Scott got ready for bed. He took a bath, brushed his teeth, and combed his hair. Scott was ready for a good night's sleep. Scott set his alarm clock to wake him up at seven o'clock. All right, now that's where I want you to stop. I want you to pick up your highlighter and I want you to highlight where it says seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. All right, let's keep reading. Finger on Scott. Scott put his head on the pillow and fell asleep quickly. When Scott's clock rang, he turned it off and went back to sleep. Scott finally woke up at nine o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Once you get your highlighters out, and I want you to highlight nine o'clock. Let's continue reading. Scott jumped out of bed and ran to get dressed. When Scott got to school, his teacher told him he was late. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what we highlighted here. Okay, I am not sure if you girls have a um, wooden clock, but I have one and I'm gonna get it out. So, let's take a little bit of time and talk about what seven o'clock looks like. Now, I have a wooden clock here. If you have one, you can get one out, but you don't have to. You can just look at Miss Pam's on the computer screen. Now, we know that our time, our clock, this is an analog clock, has two hands. We have the hour hand, which is the short hand, and the minute hand. Now, let's think about this. If we want our clock to show seven o'clock, the hour hand is going to point to what? That's right, the seven. And any time it's at the top of the hour, we say o'clock. 
So we don't say 712. We just know that when the minute hand is on the 12, that's at the top of the hour. So we know that the time is seven o'clock. Now, if I wanted to write that like a, um, as a digital clock, it would look like this. Okay, you can just put your eyes on the computer screen. If I wrote it like a digital time, we would write seven, make our colon, and o'clock is always two zeros. Seven o'clock. All right, so let's think about this. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Whoa, he is so tired. His alarm goes off to get him up for school. All right, but he hits the snooze button probably and he goes back to sleep. So we know from our story that Scott woke up at nine o'clock. So I'm gonna write nine o'clock on our whiteboard. And I want you to watch Miss Pam move the clock around. Now we know it's seven o'clock right now. And we know that a clock always moves to the right. So as I move the minute hand, this is the amount of time that Scott was sleeping. So he was sleeping all the way to 7.30. And I'm gonna keep going around. And now it's eight o'clock, but Scott was still sleeping. Now, why do you think Scott set his alarm clock for seven? Where do you think he was going? I think you're right. I'm pretty sure he was going to school. So I'm thinking, as I'm sure you're thinking, should Scott be at school now if it's eight o'clock? Yes, he should be. That's when you guys um, start school. So I'm thinking in my brain, ooh, he is definitely going to be late if he's still sleeping. So here it's eight o'clock but he didn't wake up till nine o'clock. So watch as I turn the clock, he's still sleeping, he's still sleeping and he finally wakes up and he realizes that it is nine o'clock. So he slept how many more hours? If it was seven and the hour hand moved up one, that's one hour two hours. So he slept two more hours. Crazy, I know. All right, so I'm gonna put our clock down. And what I want you girls to do is I want you to look at some of the questions. Well, there's actually just three questions. So let's take a look at question number one. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so that we can see this together. All right, so girls, get your pencils out. And let's read question number one. It says, which clock shows the time Scott wanted to get up? Which clock shows the time that Scott wanted to get up? Now, if you go back, as we've learned, if you can't remember, we can always go back to the text. The text is the passage, what we're reading. And we know that he set his alarm clock at what time? That's right, seven o'clock. Can you find the clock over here that shows seven o'clock? If you did, you should have circled in the middle one because the top one shows that it's what time? Eight o'clock, that's right. And the bottom one shows six o'clock. But we know from our text 
that he wanted to get up at seven o'clock because that's when he set his alarm. Now let's look at number two. Now I want you to think about this. If he set his alarm clock at seven, but didn't wake up until nine, what time did school probably start? Did it start at six o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock, or do you think it started at eight o'clock? Well, it doesn't really tell us in the text, does it? But we can take the information and apply it and figure this out. So let's talk a little bit about that. If we know that he wanted to get up at seven, at seven, but he got up at nine, okay? We know he's two hours late. You can look at your clock and think, well, he wanted to get up at seven. He got up at nine. So we know he was late for school. So what number comes between seven and nine? That's right, eight. So I'm thinking that school probably started at eight o'clock. So go ahead and fill in number two. All right, number three. Let's read this one together. Scott was late to school because he blank. Scott was late to school because he blanked. Was it because he missed the bus? Slowly ate his breakfast? Or overslept? I'm gonna let you finish that one on your own because I think we all know what happened. So when you finish number three, girls, you can put this in your packet to return to Hannah. And I will, uh, I think I have another uh, math lesson scheduled this week. So it's actually kind of um, a grammar lesson with a math lesson. So I will talk to you soon. You have a great day.